AppInfo Companion for Mobile is one of the recommended software for electronic data collection. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily load your questionnaire or electronic form onto your Android phone. I'll see you in a bit. Hi, and welcome to AppInfo for Rookies channel, where we make AppInfo suite of tools easy to use for students, residents, and researchers. Now, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of my future videos. All right, the Epi Info Companion for Android is an amazing mobile app which allows users to transfer forms to a mobile device and collect data remotely, even in areas without internet. In a previous video, I showed you how to create an electronic form using Epi Info PC software. All right, you can find the link in the card at the top of the screen popping up now. Today, we are going to learn how to easily transfer that form to your mobile phone for use in data collection. In this video, I'll quickly introduce you to the questionnaire that we'll be using, the electronic form that we created from the questionnaire, all right? The two ways in which you can load your form onto your mobile phone, and then how to collect data with this application. All right, let's get stuck in. So we're gonna start by introducing you to the questionnaire. And this is the questionnaire that we will be using. The link to this questionnaire is in the description um, of this video. Now, it's a simple questionnaire that was developed to collect data on household treatment options for communicable diseases in West Africa. This questionnaire has several sections. It has an introduction section, all right, where you see all the introduction to the questionnaire, and then the identification section, uh, as well as the social demographic profile of the respondent, as well as the third section. This third section shows experiences with seeking treatment for communicable diseases in a particular community. Very simple questionnaire, very simple questions. All right. Next, we created an electronic form using EpiInfo for PC. All right. Now, using a very simple drag and drop process, we created this electronic form. Now, take a quick look at this form that we created. And you can check out the description of this video to see the link to the video where we created this awesome looking form. All right. Now we can see that there are three pages and these three pages correspond to each of the different sections in the first questionnaire. All right. Now, one thing for you to note is that we can just use this form to enter data into the co computer. Right. So assuming that we've collected data with um, the paper questionnaire. All right, we can use this form to enter the data to EpiInfo software and then start our data analysis. But that will be a time consuming process because it's going to be fraught with a lot of errors. Besides, why should we waste money to print on this paper and then go to the field to collect data and then come back only to start going through this painful and error prone um, process of data entry all over again? All right, that's double data entry. All right, we entered in the field and then we'll come back to manually enter again in the office. All right, we can easily do this data collection directly from our mobile phone and that translates to data entry. Epi Info can help us to do that very, very easily. Okay, now how can we transfer our form on Epi Info PC to the mobile phone for easy data collection? Enter the Epi Info Companion for mobile. So there are two methods in which we can apply to transfer our form from the Epi Info PC to the Epi Info Mobile, all right? Both ways are very easy. The first method is super, super easy. Um, while the second method, there are a little more processes in which you need to take part in, all right? So for the first method, it uses a built-in form transfer tool, which is in the Epi Info form designer. All you need to do is just launch the form on the Epi Info PC, all right? Connect your mobile phone to the PC with a cable and Mind you, it must be a data cable, all right? Because if it's a charging cable, then it will just not work, all right? It's obvious that you should have already installed Epi Info Mobile on your phone, right? Okay, so then you click on File. So and when you click on File, and then you click on Copy Form to Mobile Device, then all you need to do is to click on Copy, all right? And then you wait, <laughs> and believe me, you must wait. Now, it depends on so many factors that I can't even start listing them here. Your wait can be as little as five minutes to as long as 30 minutes or even more. In fact, there are some people that have left their forms, left it connected overnight to come back the next day and see still trying to copy. And this is why I'm not really a fan of the first uh, method. Imagine you having to wait for even five minutes just to uh, copy a 25 kilobyte form to your mobile phone. That's that, that's that's not good. <laughs> All right. So um, this is where the second method comes in. The second method is also super simple, uh, but you need to be able to navigate around the files in your mobile phone. You know, some of you have mobile phones and don't know how to navigate around the files. So essentially, what you need to do is to create a form template and then physically copy that template onto your mobile device. All right. It's super simple. 
let me show you so on the form icon in the uh, project um, explorer just do a right click all right and then go to save form as template now you see this dialog box that comes up just put in the name of your template for me i'm going to call my own health queue all right health questionnaire call it whatever you like and then just click on okay now once you have done that the template has already been created easy peasy lemon squeezy now all you need to do is to locate the template and then copy it to your mobile phone now if you look below the project explorer you will see templates right just look at where it says templates over there and under these templates we will need to go to forms all right now just click on the tiny plus uh, sign there and you see our template so you can see our template awesome right so how do we know where this template file is located to easily know this all we need to do is to do a right click and then click on open containing folder and we'll see where the template is and you can see it's an xml document all we simply need to do here is to copy this template file to our mobile phone and start data collection so depending on your preference you can do it whichever way you like all right you can use your cable to copy it to your mobile phone just plug in your cable plug your mobile phone to your pc and copy it directly you can even attach it as a mail all right put it as a mail attachment and send it to others to help you collect data or send it to your mail or even download the attachment from um, your email to your mobile phone whichever way works best for you all right but now where do you put it when it gets to your mobile phone all right that's the next question so let me show you so i have connected my own um, phone to my pc just look for the epi info folder inside your mobile phone storage so it has to be inside your mobile phone your internal storage of your mobile phone and look for the epi info folder it's usually under the download folder of your phone please do not start trolling me in the comment section of my video that you didn't see the epi info folder it's in the download folder just look for the download folder and in the download folder you'll see epi info folder all right very good now let's open the epi info folder we won't just want to dump it into that folder all right because we need to be organized we don't just dump it like that now since it's a questionnaire we'll look for the folder where you put questionnaires and then we drop it inside there so we'll put it inside this questionnaire folder right all right and that's all super simple so what did we just do we created a template all right located the template on our computer and copied that template into the questionnaire folder on our mobile phone and we're good to go okie dokie add a chalky all right, so let's see how it looks on our Epi Info mobile, all right? All right, but before we proceed with the mobile phone, if you're new to this channel and you're enjoying this content, please don't forget to hit the subscribe uh, button so you never miss any of my follow-up videos. All right, so let's launch Epi Info uh, mobile application. Good. Then uh, click on collect data. Very good. Now, where do we see our form? Okay, so you just click on the drop-down arrow to see our form. So you can see our form is there health queue okay awesome let's click on it and hit um, load okay so we can see that there are no records right it's just a fresh questionnaire there are no records okay so let's go ahead and collect data so we we'll just click on the blue plus uh, button over there and we can see our introduction of our questionnaire and it says do you consent to take part in this study so we say yes name of word I'm going to say Basawa word awesome good household number it says we'll say a012 good 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 then um we will enter the address is number 31 market road samaru zaria awesome great unique id is 0231 awesome uh now you just click this button for longitude and latitude but i'll need to do this outside all right i'm under the roof all right so i'll just leave that and we'll go to the next question place of residence uh where are we uh rural <laughs> all right age is 18 um you can see how awesome this is right very simple gender is male okay for education we say uh, tertiary education and then marital status married of course uh tribe hausa and let's let's just cross check and see and see we're done with the first entry easy peasy all right and uh so we just um save by clicking that diskette logo over there and boom we have our first entry just no any issues easy peasy all right and you can even see a small preview um over there now if we want to enter the next record 
all we'll do is just to click on that plus button again and we'll enter the next record super easy life can just not be easier than this all right now after data entry what is left for you to do is to analyze your data and believe me we can do it directly from the mobile phone Alrighty, this is how to easily transfer your electronic form from epi info pc to the mobile phone for data collection and analysis now in this video i showed you the two ways in which you can move your form into your mobile phone and i also showed you how to enter data using epi info mobile all right now let me know in the comment section uh, below which of these two methods you prefer the most the first method which is just that automatic copy uh, to the phone and you wait all right and the second method which is just sharp sharp you create a template and copy um, to your phone all right I can't wait to see your comments and the discussion that will go on in the comment section. Now, if you've gained value in this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends and colleagues. And if you like this video and you're here to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified of my future videos. In my next video, God willing, I am going to show you how to run some analysis on your mobile phone using EpiInfo Mobile Data Analysis Pack. But until then, peace.